Uh, my name is Johnny Sarnelson, I'm a co-founder of Orions. Uh, my name is Karen Melville, I'm the co-founder of Orions with Johnny. Our ambition here today is to see what technology can be created to help elderly people have a more comfortable and exciting elderly life. The very essence of what Orions is about, you know, trying to lead the field in innovation in later life, you know, it just seemed like a sort of the perfect thing for us to get involved in. I'm Rama Garawo, I'm the director of the Helen Hamlin Centre for Design. The Royal College of Art was supporting the hackathon as an intellectual partner. We are working with Ariens to look at their flagship building, looking at what does luxury mean for, for later life. Ariens Hackathon is unique from other events because it really puts a different demographic at the center of the innovation and, and the problem solving. More and more older people are picking up technology regardless, so having things that are built with them in mind makes a lot of sense. People are often isolated and I think that technology has the potential to solve some of these problems. Hi, I'm Jan de Villeneuve. I was in the ad campaign for Orions. I just think the idea that people are thinking about what it's going to be like to live as an older person, but to put more value into life as we all get older. The 16 projects that we looked at um, were fantastic. You have some cutting edge thinking in this room that really pushed the boundaries. Chad won as a project because of a few things. It dealt with an incredibly simple issue, which is internet searches. Accessing the internet is like taking a drink from the fire hydrant. Chad presents the internet like a glass of water. You can hold it in your hand and you can drink it. It makes searching for information easy. It made me want it. Things shouldn't be age exclusive, they should be age inclusive. You've won five thousand pounds. What was the idea? Um, so basically, the internet's such an amazing resource. Um, you know, it's benefited me for sure. Our whole generation, the generation after us, even the one right before us. But there's a whole generation out there that isn't really benefiting from its vast, you know, enormity of information. Um, and we kind of just wanted to make it accessible to everybody. We want to be investing in these businesses. We want to be employing these businesses to fulfill our wider ambitions. It will help us create our vision and, and find ways to make people's life better. This weekend is where the tech world is living and hoping and dreaming. It's exciting. Why wouldn't we want to invest and incubate these new guys? The two days this hackathon has really opened some doors into looking at what later life and technology could mean. So long may it live, may it spark the interests of many different people, organizations and companies, but most of all those participants, because I think there's now 70 people that will go out there, fly the flag and do the work.